watch me do a quick kitchen makeover from start to finish. So here's what the kitchen looked like when we bought the house. This house was built in the 70s and definitely hadn't been updated throughout the years. And normally we like to donate any of the cabinets or material, but these ones here weren't even worth it. I knew I wanted an open concept, so I demoed the kitchen and removed all of those walls. So now it was time to just clean it up and rebuild. It was easier just to skim coat the entire ceiling, and then we laid all new floors throughout, which are Christina Collection and Pikes Peak. And originally I was going to go with a white kitchen just because that's my go-to, but instead I decided to try this new color called Sand from our cabinet line. And I absolutely love them. It's like a gray beige color. The cabinets got shipped already assembled, so I was just able to install those and took about two weeks for delivery. And whenever you're installing upper cabinets by yourself, I always use a 2x4 as a ledger board. Normal upper cabinets get installed 54 inches above the ground, so I just install that 2x4 against the wall so I'm easily just able to set that upper cabinet right above it. It just makes it easy when you don't have a second set of hands. And then I had to adjust that ledger board up higher because this cabinet here was going above the refrigerator. One of the things I love about our cabinet line though is you're able to get up to five cabinets customized to any color you want. So for this beach bungalow, I decided to go with this coastal blue color, which I think is so pretty and it just adds so much character to the room. The easiest way that I found to install any cabinets is by using these claw clamps by Pony. It makes the face frame of each cabinet super flush and then you can just screw them in to secure it. For the countertop, I wanted to go with a nice bright color, so I chose this sparkling white quartz. And for the backsplash, I chose to go with a 3x12 white glazed tile. And to install the tiles, I'm using the Ruby Cyclone Leveling System. It makes it super easy so that all of the grout lines are nice and even, and then also the tiles sit nice and level so there's no lippage. The white T part kind of just goes underneath of the tile, and then once you put the next tile up to it, you're spinning on that red spinner. After 24 hours of it drying, then you just hit off that red part, which actually breaks off the clip as well, and you're ready to grout. I find that using these makes the installation process go a whole lot faster. And for the grout, I wanted the tiles just to have a seamless look, so I'm using Latta Creek's Ready to Use Grout in the color Bright White. I love how the glossy white subway tiles really just pop with that sand color cabinets. For all of the seams between the tile and the countertop, and then also the tile and the cabinets or the wall, I'm using this 100% silicone, which is, a, is by Latta Creek as well. So you just get it in the same exact color that you get your grout. And whenever applying silicone, I always wear some gloves and then I have soapy water and some a popsicle stick to make sure that the line is perfect. After you apply that bead of caulk, then you just go and spray a little bit of soapy water along the line there and then just run the popsicle stick. Adding that soapy water will make sure that none of that silicone sticks to anything that you didn't want it to. And then I could not wait to install that huge range hood. So this one here is by Z-Line. It's 60 inches, which matches their 60 inch gas stove. Then I just finished grouting and also siliconing the other side of the kitchen. I also installed a Revishelf trash can. Revishelf is definitely my go-to when installing any type of organization to the kitchen. Everything they have is really easy to install and just a good quality. For here, I chose to double trash can. I added bamboo shades to both windows in the kitchen and also I use the same ones throughout the house. I love how there's no cords. You can just pull it down and push it back up. And all of the appliances in this kitchen are top of the line Z-Line. I could not be happier with the quality. And to make sure the backsplash had that seamless look, I didn't want any of the outlets in the backsplash to show, so I installed all of the outlets right underneath the top cabinet. I bought it from Amazon, and I had John, our electrician, just install that line right at the 54-inch mark so I could hook these up. But I think it makes a huge difference. This was the first time that I had ever done that. But here's what the kitchen looks like now, and I love the transformation. It is just so much more open, that huge range that's in there. The pennant lights above the island I bought from Home Depot, and I think they match perfectly with the blinds. And I also was so lucky to find that Syncology sink. It matches the blue island perfectly. I added all black matte cabinet poles and then also that faucet. All the drawer cabinets provide so much storage, so hopefully the new owners love it. 